I Young boy with the top of the block with the white front door in the corner subtle Cool boy always in trouble, why you think his bredging called him knuckles? Ten years old in beef, dad thinks street's taking over me Mumsy praying for me but there ain't enough bees on the rosary Man's just been one of the coldest from the beginning. Now. If we're talking that like creme de la creme, you're part of that, that elite circle of man where it's that now. Every time I hear you, you're level setting that. Food, like food for the soul. Yo, he has things to say, he has stories. He's the king of storytelling. He's done it on his own with independent management, independent label. It's like a family as opposed to a business. His dedication to the craft and his consistency of what he's been doing has got him to the place that he's at. Step off the block and I'm feeling nice. True, say I find the repeal and I took a U turn just to pre that twice. In the work till the G baptized. Step off the block and I'm feeling good. Now I've got six trying to link me, it's fair to say that I'm over, but. He's so uniquely individual. He's just on his route, changing the trajectory of the UK sound, pushing it forward globally. You get gems like that that come through in the scene we have today. It's very, very inspiring to watch. The word alpha is a very strong word. What are the chances that I grew up on a place that has such a strong name? It just can mean so many things. This was actually a crazy place. A lot of the things that we went through growing up weren't normal. Drugs being sold, crime, lack of opportunity, and feeling like you're trapped when you're not. Appreciation of music for him, you know, didn't come as a surprise. He's been surrounded by music all his life. Listen. Be safe, so my mama told me. But I was outside, chilling with my homies. Hey, my Air Force mix, my bro. You know the black ones, big tan mix so. I hear tunes all the time, and like, I feel like I've heard it before, and then I plot, brother, I sampled this when I was like, <laughs> that's what I think the beauty of sampling is, is that you're bringing music that certain people will never listen to, to a whole nother generation and demographic. There's a lot of music that I think both of us thought that we were living in the same time as. When you grow up 
in an area like that, you see so much, it's almost impossible for it not to impact your writing or the way you see the world. reality of what it is in some of these estates. Certain groups can't be together. Check this one. Blood, sit down in your seat. Spit my balls in. Come on, repeat. Oi! Oi! Hurry up, man. What, look at my name coming as well? We were exceptionally worried, you know, for them. Our worry was the extreme end of that culture. We felt all of them needed protection and guidance from some of these elements. That led us to send him back to Nigeria. At that time, there was just a lot happening, especially if you're young, especially if you're black, especially if you're a boy. I could imagine it being quite confusing, like this is the time where you need your boys. And so to have him go in that moment, it must have felt like a loss. When I came back, where I called home was a whole other place. Dad said I'll come home to my mates, but it was the life of me. Now I'm stood with the open plate, looking for rice and peas. Doing up wildly, where's my brother? Looking to find my G's. G's. G's.